Man, blogging is not going to never be the same no more due to all this BS that these guys been doing. All the things that's happening now with these flaky fans, a lot of these brothers coming in, hiding behind profiles, making, look, it's crazy. They making themselves bloggers, hiding behind fake profiles, no pictures, no showing their face, and literally got people supporting them. Only to now be in the wave of flagging going on from all these different directions and nobody know where they're coming from. Due to even a lot of these other bloggers being jealous, hating, try to promote and rallying the people around to try to hate on somebody else only for it to all backfire on them also. I'm not saying no names. Y'all know exactly what I'm saying, which brings me to the point of why blogging for the most part is basically messed up and a done deal because you're not finna stop these trolls from flagging guys. That ain't finna stop no more now. It's a wave. But then you're not going to change up your content. Like, say for instance, Caps Cuss. He very disrespectful. His guests cuss and they disrespectful. How could the angry fan channel survive flagging when you got people flagging because you're in violation of the YouTube guidelines because of profanity, uh, homosexual slurs and things like that that got these brother flags channel. That channel can't stand. The, can't, it would never survive. Same thing with a lot of these other bloggers who curse and got people on their channels cursing, who disrespectful and coming at it. it Y'all ch channel can't survive at all. When you got these new wave of guys so thirsty, want attention, want to be respected, want to be honored, want an audience in the community giving them an audience and a platform and they secretly flagging y'all and me. They, sec they secretly flagging y'all and me. The difference between me being flagged it, don't, it ain't going to work on me no more. Because first of all, my channel is going to be drama free. I don't cuss. I have cursed. But I don't curse. So I'm not going to curse. I'm not going to use no homosexual slurs. So none of that stuff ain't even going to affect me. But a lot of these other channels not going to survive on those grounds alone. When everything is negative, cursing, uh, aggressive, they're not going to survive. They're not going to survive it. And you got, again, a lot of these blogger dudes who trying to come in the game now, who want the attention, hiding behind fake profiles because they know who you is. They know we know who they are, so they're not going to show their faces so that they can show who they really are. And they're getting support. And, and, and then they could take down challenges if they feel. They're threatening them. That's just a fact. Then you got this other conspiracy. It makes sense. You got a conspiracy of saying, well, maybe the flagging came from up top, from certain people now releasing blogs. It's funny. You got took down Truth. Caps got took down. Pipe got took down. Three of the independent biggest bloggers in the game who not are under their umbrella, only for now, they releasing all these battles non-stop now. Do that dawn on you? Y'all channel got took down. As soon as y'all channel get took down, now all these battles coming out. Then now the attention is on them. I never thought about that. Somebody told me that. Brought that to my attention. I say, wow, I never thought about that. Then rumor has it that the life getting dude was saying a purge was finna happen in blogging. Purge mean get rid of. To eradicate, to remove, to take out. I ain't seen that blog yet. But the thing about it is, it's hard to say where it's coming from 
when you had two of these guys go public saying do the stuff. Two of the guys went public saying do it. Go flag their channels. Go do it. Only for them to be taken down to. So it's hard to, you can't even put the finger on it. You got the fans doing it. Then you got so-called league owners doing it. Then you got the bloggers doing it. Come on now. That's crazy. That's crazy. But like I said, I don't play games like that. If God want me here, he's my success. That's why I continue to have success. My success is in God. They can play them games and do all that all they want. My success is in God. I'm successful because of God. And that's what my Bible teaches me. Your promotion don't come from the east or from the west. Your promotion come from on high. Have favor with God and he will give you favor with man. So I have favor with God. They give me favor with the people. And they connect with me. And that's why I'm still here. And that's why I'm still successful. But I'm telling you what these brothers have started. That's not going to go away so soon. And now it become, it become a plague. Because of jealousy. And I'm looking at this situation. And my influence in battle rap definitely big. Definitely big. I have literally seen I can go on the wave and uh, heard a lot of people numbers. Y'all remember when I was like, I'm going to release this kill shot. But out of respect for the URL, because they finna drop the Briz and uh, who battle with that? Briz and somebody battle. I said, I'm going to hold off. Because once I drop this kill shot, the wave going to be crazy. They know that. They see that. They see that. You saw them all coming out publicly. Y'all talking too much about him. Get back to battle rap. Why everybody focusing on him? Why everybody talking about him? They were begging the people. Black came out, said a blog about it. So many people was, they saying it like, dang. Why all the attention and focus is on dude? They even went as far as saying, Surf just got out. Y'all not talking about him? No. I'm popping, man. Whether you want to accept it or not, I'm popping. I got favor with the people, man. I just bring something different to the table, man. Whether they hate me or whether they love me, I'm just bringing something different to the table that a lot of people can't do. See, I just dropped 10 blogs, just like that, 10, all different, on all different levels. That's talent. But the thing about the game is, man, it still was effective and could work for everybody. Jealousy is a cancer that allows people to spread it and try to get people to also uh, be a part of their motives and intentions behind their feelings. Behind their feelings. We all own our own channels. We own our own channels. Which means this is optional. This is not something that's forced on people. You have to choose to click on my channel. You have to come find me. A person got to come on their computer and type me up. They have to find me. Or already subscribe to me that they get notified when I drop something because they choose to get my stuff soon it drop. So you either get notified about my stuff or you typing me up looking for me and my channel. See, this is something nobody could stop. You can't stop the people from liking who they like. I don't care what I said about Jay. I can't stop people from liking Jay Black. I don't care what I said about caps. I can't stop people from liking caps. And yet you see people, they go that far to do them things. You know what I'm saying? I never do that because I know you can't control it. You can't stop it. If I got 8,000 people subscribed to me, that means 8,000 people for the most part like me. 
like me. This is where they come to. This is their channel they like to watch. We like Battle Truth. Jay Black got 74,000. That means they like him. Regard to what I say, that's the channel I watch. Why is that so hard for people to understand? Then you got these little pawns and the fish who want to be something that feels like, okay, I ain't got no talent. But if I just keep, keep attacking and keep, 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 keep saying, maybe people will like me. Maybe to a certain degree, but you will never be successful. You will never reach a pinnacle of where your numbers is escalating big because you got to bring more, more than that to the table. To the table. And that's why I be trying to tell, tell the big bloggers. Stop being jealous. What are you jealous of? You can't stop it. If a person likes somebody, there's nothing you can do about that. Nothing at all. Worry about your channel and what you're doing. Find new ways to make your stuff better. They don't want to see that, though. They don't want to see that, though. And all them lies just to try to make themselves look good, thinking they were going to lie to shame me, to make the people think I'm behind what's going on. None of that stuff work. People know me, fam. I ain't got nothing to lie about. And y'all see how far I went with it. From putting my hand on the Bible to my hand on my family, my loved ones, even to my dead people. I'm the only one did that. I'm the only one did that. Nobody else done it. But had all everything to say about it. Every time they accuse me of something, I prove the truth. I got nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. My life is my life. My past is my past. The man who I am now, glory to God. That's why the Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned. Your righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Don't work. No matter what they say, I know who you are. Moses killed an Egyptian. The people always looked at him as being a murderer. But you know what God said? He ain't killed nobody. That's my God. The moment he repented and confessed his sin to me, the moment he became a new man. Anything you ever accusing him of what he did in his past, guess what? I forgave him for and you still guilty of yours. He forgiven of his like he never killed nobody, but you definitely guilty of yours. That's why Jesus said before you can remove the sins from your brother life, remove the many in your life, the many that's in your life. And guys need to step up to the plate and start being more men of honor and integrity. Stop being so jealous. Stop being so evil and spiteful. Stop trying to use platforms to turn people's hearts away from others thinking that they're going to like you in return. No, what they're going to show, what they're going to prove and show people in return is that you a person who envious, jealous, can't be trusted, and you will go the distance to do the things that you're trying to get us to do. This is the same thing you will do behind people back. And it's a sign of betrayal. That's exactly what it is. And now you see this thing happening. Now you see this thing happening. And guess who miss out? A lot of the fans who actually did love and appreciate battle rap. Because you got so many fake people that's in it now. So many fake fans in it now. Just going out of their way. Just trying their hardest. Thirsty for any type of leeway they can get. Just to get acknowledged. I watch these dudes sometimes and see it. When they channel, they can't even talk about blogging, blog. They can't even do successful blogs. They don't get no numbers. Then as soon as they say something crazy, disrespectful to a big name or something, now you got numbers. Man, get up out of here. You ain't got no talent. And this is battle truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. The plague. That's exactly what it is. A plague.